Hello YouTube, it's Jason here once again on Not So Wolf Mum, and yep, it's 33s and 45s day today. Hopefully this was released on a Monday, because that's what it's supposed to be, and if it's not a Monday, then, well, whatever. <laughs> um, as always, I've got a record to showcase for you. I'll put a little video, bit of video up and put some factoids in, and you can have a listen and tell me what you think. And the record today is one that causes a little bit of Division, I shall say, uh, between the people that went out and bought it. And it is Babylon Zoo and Spaceman. Now, for those of you that may remember, this was used for a, I think it was a Levi's jeans commercial. I don't really recall. Uh, I think I think that's what it was. It was certainly for jeans anyway. Pretty sure it was Levi's. And they only played a little bit of it. And it's the, the very dancey bit. Of it that they played and a lot of people thought it was going to be the whole same sort of thing all the way through and it's not because it slows down it goes quite dark it goes quite brooding yeah um but i was quite pleasantly surprised by it and it's a song that has grown on me over the years the more i've played it, the more i like it is it my favorite song of all time no but it is good. It is good. So, go and have a listen. Yep, come back and I'll give you some more thoughts on it. Spaceman by Babylon Zoo. And yeah, I really do like it. Um, there's a bunch of remixes on there. To be honest, I think they're a bit crap myself. Um, they slow it down a bit too much in places. And it doesn't really work the same. And some of it's got barely any hint. The original thing, you know, a lot, a lot of these records you find they call them remixes, and they've taken one little bit, and it's got almost no similarity to the original at all. And unless you sort of listen carefully, you wouldn't even know it was the same song. So those I can sort of push to one side and not worry about it. It's the main, you know. I got this for the main song. Um, as I said, I, I do still enjoy it and. Every time I've listened to it, it, I think it grows on me that little bit more. Um, the guy behind it seems a very sort of pretentious, arrogant 
sort of person. The way that he comes across is quite quite full of himself. And when you've seen him in interviews, he's, he's come across like that. And I think Babylon was even quite short-lived, to be fair. Um, they may have done more stuff, as always. If you follow them, you know, if they're a band that you really, really follow and you know more about them, then uh, please do let me know. They may have released more stuff and it may be very, very good. I don't know. Uh, there's the other one that they know, uh, I know that they did was the um, Boy With The X-Ray Eyes. And uh, that's, I quite like that one as well. So, you know, they were, they were um, again, another one of these bands is a little, a little bit difficult to pigeonhole. You've got a bit of pop, you've got a bit of the sort of Angus ridden uh, music. Well, I don't, I don't you necessarily call it gothic as such because it wasn't really that style. But perhaps the subject matter was that kind of a of, of, of thing um you could say yeah maybe even maybe more emo i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know it's 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 difficult to pigeonhole and then you've got the sort of the dancey element in there as well which is it's um a little bit trippy and i and i i think possibly influenced by early prodigy um um you know stuff like that um yeah difficult to pigeonhole but you know if you know if you know what type of music it counts as someday again please let me know it's always nice to hear people's thoughts on such things anyway um that's it right as i say i really do like the records uh one of those ones from the 90s it's a bit quirky and you could sort of argue that they were very short-lived and they were but again you may prove me wrong and say that they are still going to this day. Uh, maybe the guys got off and, and produced records for other people. I don't know. Um, but yeah, any, any any thoughts you've got on them? You know, what you thought, thought of the guy behind it? Was it, was it Jazz, Jazz Man or J-Man? Something like that. I'll have, I'll, have, I'll have put it in the factoids anyway for you. Um, but yeah, just, just give me your thoughts. And as always... Please do uh, keep coming back to the channel. I, I really do appreciate everybody that takes the time to comment, you know, or just gives a thumbs up, or oh, it's just there watching me, you know, just some watch time. You know, it does mean the world. I'm never going to be the most popular channel in the world, um, and that's fine. But I do like to get a bit of feedback from you, and, you know, just let me know that I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right thing. Just that little bit of a nudge of, you know, keep at it, Jace. You're doing all right, mate. Sort of thing, you know. <laughs> I think we all need, you know, we all need a little bit of uh, positive feedback now and again just to keep us motivated, shall we say. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks again for watching. And please, as I say, keep coming back. There's plenty more on the way. And to whatever that happens to be... I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.